last night and he said to me, son, you are praying, eagerly praying for your people. I can see your pain. I can see your, your prayer. But look, and when I look, I saw that many people that we are praying for are in the bondage of their utterances. That is to say, it is not witchcraft that is fighting somebody. It is the words of their mouth. What are you saying to yourself? What are your utterances when you have problem? What are your utterances when men makes you angry? What are your utterances when things are not going your direction? What are the things you say to yourself when life is difficult? What do you say to yourself when you are going to delay? What are the meditation of your heart when things seem not to go the way you want? What have you said to yourself under grace? Even as a parent, when you are angry with your children, what are your utterances? Husband and wife, when you are angry with one another, what are your utterances? Things can pass by words never die. The event that brought forth wrong utterances, the event we pass, but the utterances that comes out during the time of the event will remain. There's power in your tongue. The Bible says life and death is in the power of what? Of tongue. And every utterance that you are to utter must come from your tongue.